Hey guys, it's me, Asteroid Rules. Uh, yesterday I saw Star Wars The Clone Wars, and it was actually pretty gr it was great. So right now I'm gonna give you a little review on it, okay? Okay, so yesterday I was very excited to see this movie, and uh, now I'm giving you the review. And this is what the story is. Jabba the Hutt's son has been kidnapped by the Sith, uh, Count Dooku. And um, and there's a cl and there's a war going on in a, on a planet, but I don't remember what planet it is on. But uh, yeah. Okay, so you got your basic characters: Obi Wan Kenobi, uh, Yoda, and Anakin. But there's some new characters as well as like uh, Rex. He's a he's a clone trooper. He's a clone. Uh, he's a clone from the, for the Republic. He fights like in the, all the other movies but there's some new appearances as well like um Zero the Hut and um and the uh, that Sith girl there who who's with Count Dooku but but there's a new new uh new person Anakin in the beginning of the movie when they're fighting the the CIS or the the uh, Senate uh there uh, there's Obi -Wan, well Yoda was supposed to give the apprentice to Obi Wan but really it was assigned to Anakin and her name is Ahsoka yeah that's it Ahsoka uh and she's a young Padawan and she's she's very skillful and train very skillful and she's really good in training. Um, what I have to say about the animation, though, it's actually very, very realistic for me, in, like, 2008 for for an animation movie like Star Wars. I mean, like, I'm a fan of Star Wars, and I like this movie. If you want to know what my first movie was when I ever saw it in the theaters, it was Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. Yeah. Yeah, I was born in the 19, 1990s. I was actually born in 1994. It's awesome. But, um, the voice acting is good. I like this movie. But I'm going to tell you more about the story plot. Okay, so you see, like, the clones and the Jedis are fighting on, on the, like, this planet, but I don't remember what planet it's called. But, uh, yeah. And, like, every two or three minutes, they always need, like, reinforcements. Come on! <laughs> That's so funny! And what was really embarrassing, though, is that there, there was this, like, Cartoon Network announcer at, like, the beginning of the movie, which was really embarrassing, because I'm not used, like, used to those kind of announcers anymore. I usually like the Star Wars, like, the opening sequences, like, with the, uh, titles and stuff. But, uh, yeah, there's, like, a lot, a lot of battles going on. You see, like, one, the Anakin and Ahsoka are always, like, fighting each other, because, uh, because they always get mad at each other because Ahsoka did something wrong, but really she did something right, and Anakin thinks she's doing something wrong, but Anakin's doing everything. Anakin's doing everything, everything wrong. But uh, yeah, it's really funny. The story's good. They go back on Tatooine. There's a lot of fights, but uh, you gotta see the movie in order to like. See. This it's a good movie. I like this movie. But you gotta see the movie first. It's really good. It's really, really good. But, uh, yeah, so the, they go back on Tatooine. They always, there's fights, more a lots of action. And, yeah, I just gotta say, this is a good Star Wars movie. I know this review is sort of lame, but who, who cares? But, but, I recommend it if you're a Star Wars fan and if you like animation movies. It goes well with the mix. Um, when I give my final re re my score for it, it's a nine out of ten. Yeah, this is a good movie. I think you should go see it. So this is Stuart Rules, and um, I'm signing out.